Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of RSBNB Update Supplemental. I am Shane12088 at Shane12088 on Twitter and in RS, and I'm here this week to give you a bit of a uh, brief rundown of one important pillar of this week's update. So before we get going, this is the third type of supplemental that we'll do. Uh, we have the one in which we give a technical overview of a specific update. We have the variation where we talk to a community member about said update. And then we have this type where we give a brief opinion on this update from the perspective of one of the hosts. So let's begin. This week's update includes the world map, the new tutorial, and most importantly, coin share, a change to coin share. All, of course, will be discussed in detail on the weekly podcast, which should ship on Saturday. So, let's begin with CoinShare. Uh, this is a very important update, but first we need to talk a bit about the history of it. First things first, CoinShare initially started off as loot share only. This came out as a precursor to the removal of free trade in December 2007. It was billed as a way to allow um, PVMers to have an equal chance at getting a drop and not have to rely on the generosity of someone else in the group to share. Um, basically what happened with loot shares, you would go into a party and as you would, uh, go into this party through various boss runs, your chances at receiving a drop would improve. Now, once the grand exchange came out, coin share was brought in. Coin share converted the items directly into GP or put them on the grand exchange. We never really got a, uh, straight answer, answer as to which it was, but basically it would insert the item on the grand exchange or give you the value of that GP at the market value or the average sell price. Now, over time, this contributed to an excess amount of GP being added to the game. Uh, there's been so many bosses that have been brought in ever since 2007 that this has become a real problem for the economy. Um, existing money sinks such as construction weren't able to keep up and, of course, the problem was exacerbated when private God War dungeon instances were added. And, of course, every new boss added since 2012 has had these private instance options. So it's safe to say that this problem was not getting better and something needed to be done with it. Done with it. Now, it's all about the economy. There's a very good phrase. It's the economy, stupid. You probably heard it mentioned before on the show, but uh, let's just go through a brief rundown as to why this is important. First off, the in-game economy is an important aspect to everyone. Not just PVMers, not just scalers, everyone. Everyone is intertwined in this way, more so than they might think. And if the economy is not healthy, the game is not healthy in the long run. So, it's very important that the economy be healthy. Large amounts of GP coming into the game at the end of the day just means that the value of the currency, the gold piece, is being depreciated. So this means that because there's so much of this currency, it's not able to hold its value the same way it could back in the olden days. Now, for anybody who has played RuneScape back in 2001, 2004, etc., you'll know that the value of being rich back then is, of course, not the value of being rich today. The value being rich today can be seen as anything from uh, owning a rare item all the way up to having a max cash stack plus a bunch of rare items like party hats. So we can see that GP has depreciated in value uh, specifically even since 2007. So this update is all about the economy and it's something that's been lingering for a while. And Jagex has started to address this with other updates like the Well of Goodwill, for example, sinking all this amount of GP into into nothingness and, of course, donating the proceeds to charity, which is, of course, a noble goal. But, back to the point of the economy. Resources cost more, and the, the economy as a whole experiences inflation, so the prices go up. Um, the reason this happens is because your buying power with the GP is reduced. So granted, you have all this GP coming into the game, but because the, that value is going down, you need more of it to do 
what you could do yesterday. So even though I have 500k, it's not a decent uh, value in terms of being able to do stuff with it. Um, a real world example of this is uh, the African country of Zimbabwe. They print money as if there's no tomorrow and um, it's not uncommon to see million dollar notes there. So this is the kind of situation we are trying to avoid in RuneScape. So it's easy to see why Jagex is doing this update, not only to change the way the game mechanics work with CoinShare, but also to improve the general health of the game. This update, of course, will solve one of the biggest problems of GP creation, mainly because GP is no longer simply given to players. Players need to decide what to do with their items that they get from whatever boss they might be going for. God Wars, Tormented Demons, Calfight King, you name it. So now, when you're doing one of these boss instances, you get what's called a shard. Each item requires 120 shards, whether it be an archer's ring, uh, a dry gore mace, or ceridoman hilt. All of them require 120 shards. So, basically, when you're on one of these runs, and if you get one of these drops that's quite shareable, you'll be given a portion based on the number of people in the group of these shards. Now, it's your choice. What do you do? Do you sell these on the Grand Exchange for a GP value based on the current market price, probably related to the item, or do you collect on your own up to 120 of these shards and create an item for yourself? Now, this solves the problem, seeing as no GP is instantly given to you, and it stifles a major source of GP coming into the economy. This means that no new GP is created when slaying your favorite boss monster, which is something that has been needed since the very inception of CoinShare, and it's something I've always seen as a problem. It's a win-win situation, and the amount of GP coming into the game is decreased and the proportion of wealth given to the player remains the same. And that's a supplemental. Remember you can send your questions in to us, just click the link below this video and you can find them on the forums at rsbnb.com forms or send an audio question in to questions at rsbnb.com. We'll see you this Friday.